Illuminator Saraz. We're gonna go over his uh, build. Exactly what you need to know before you build this guy. Uh, great model, love the way it looks, super cool stuff. Love the blood flow coming out of the um, Ministorum priest or whoever it is uh, into his weird little device there. But there's a number of things that we're gonna go over here and uh, talk about. So to get started, make sure you assemble all the legs, assemble the main body component, but you're not gonna wanna put on everything that they tell you to. So for instance, uh, you're gonna see these little plate things. You don't wanna put those on yet. So 11 and 10, don't put those on until the very end. Uh, go ahead with 12. Uh, assemble the base components for the legs as well. Move on to this page here. Uh, so. Then of course assemble the torso. Don't glue the legs together yet. And make sure 11 and 10 aren't on there. Those little carapaces that go on top of the leg pieces. Don't put those on. Don't put on number 15 either. And for this here, this is where things get complicated. Um, put on his head. 19 and 20, the arm components, make it very frustrating because this part down here at the bottom is going to connect to our guy on the ground. Um, you can go ahead and assemble the arms as well. Go ahead and do those. With this, um, this is kind of finicky, so be careful with these tiny little pieces, 18. Um, I didn't go ahead and assemble 27 and 28 yet. I'm saving all that stuff for the end, and 29 as well. So the main problem is he's got four legs, okay? And he's got that end of his weapon going into the Ministorum Priest there on the base. So they tell you to assemble these three legs and then attach this. There's a problem with this. So the legs, you need to have a flat surface number one. So when you're gluing this together or dry fitting it, make sure you have it on um, a flat surface. Now what I would suggest is gluing this back leg into the rock and then uh, dry fitting those two leg components together on the back to hold them in place when you dry fit the front legs. Because the front legs are such a pain. So if you have the two back ones just glued in to the base, not into him, so he can still have a bit of uh, give and leeway, then you're able to put in this section here, once you assemble it, into here. And then the last part you should do would be to uh, glue on this leg component over here, the um, his on his side, his right front leg. So it's this left front leg on him that will give you all the trouble. So we're going back over to the model now. So this is him pretty much assembled. Now there's a few pieces. Uh, those are the armor plates. We'll deal with that later on. But this is a problem. Um, when you go to attach his two upper arms, so this here goes up top. And this one over here also goes up top into that slot. Now you want to make sure, just like on the model, on the box, that this whooshy blood stuff lines up with it. So that's where the problem is. Is this connection right... Right here. You have a number of connection points. You have one just above his head there where that gloopy glob is coming off, and then from the hand, there's also a connection point as well. So I'll zoom out a little bit, there we go. And that spear goes in there, so there's this tiny little section right there that I'm staring at right in the middle, right above his fingertips. And that also connects to this blood. Uh, so the blood isn't too bad. Uh, what I noticed is I had to push it forward to line up with the arm when I dry fit it in up there. Because his little cage arm thing that catches the blood and swirls it around needs to be somewhat aligned with it. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want it like way off in the front or way off in the back where it doesn't align. So you'll see here if I can dry fit this. Mine pretty much lines up. It's 
not perfect, but it's pretty close. It's just as good as what's on the box. So that has to line up, and then also this other arm has to kind of line up with the swirly stuff as well. I think those ones are fairly straightforward. It should be easy, but these are real fragile. These swirly bits, I broke off one of them already, which was in this guy here. I uh, broke off a part of that earlier on and had to re-glue it. So, you have those two back legs stuck together and then you wanna finagle this arm piece with the spear into this slot. I'd say put a bit of glue in there, fiddle around with it, try and get it so it looks nice and dry fit that arm when it's done being built into there to see if it aligns up or not, if you need to move it front or forward. You don't have much time to do this though if your glue's drying. I wouldn't recommend using tack, uh, sticky tack, because it's, unless if you use a very small amount, uh, because you don't want to have any gaps. Um, and I feel like with these leg pieces, any sort of tack, if you try and tack it together, it's, it's gonna make your life a lot harder than just dry fitting it. So again, you glue the two back legs, glue this one back section in there as well. Uh, I haven't actually glued it into the model yet, those two back legs. I've only glued the front ones in so far. So you can still move around and whatnot, and I'm on a flat surface. Uh, so again, that's the trickiest part. I would have liked to have recorded that on camera, but it was too tricky to do that with uh, one hand. So this is kind of after the build. So again, the main take homes, don't glue on piece 11 and 10, which go above, if I can zoom in, which go above those two little ball joints for where the legs connect. Don't put that in. Don't put in piece 15, because that goes above one of those carapace pieces, right in there. You can see the little hole right there in the middle underneath his arm. Don't put that in. Make sure you glue the legs all together into their um, scenery. Uh, assemble the Wuxi Blood Dude and dry fit all four of the legs together and then start by gluing the back two and then you want to finagle this arm piece with the spear into your victim down there and fiddle around with the blood to make sure it's adjusted for when you dry fit the arm piece there. Again, that's a lot to take in. Um, on a scale of one to 10 for difficulty, uh, I'd say like this model is probably a nine and a half, if not a, well, pro let's say a nine. I'm not gonna say it's a, a, a 10 or a nine and a half. I'd say that would be designated for Forge World models, for instance. Uh, but again, this one is a very tricky model. Take your time with it, dry fit it as many times as you need, and again, a flat surface. Uh, I'll do a quick video of the Scortep Lords and then this guy when he's primed later on. Uh, loving these new Necron models, Games Workshop did a great job. It's just some of these parts are a bit too fragile and uh, four legs is a lot to deal with. So, we'll leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, until next time, happy hobbying.